I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to talk about the Crystal Echoes effect type in the pitch block. And I also want to talk about the corresponding Crystal Echoes factory preset because I think this factory preset is such a fantastic introduction into this pretty magical sounding effect type. Now, the very first clip I ever remember seeing on the internet of a fractal device was the Axe FX Ultra and the Crystal Echoes on there. And I had never heard a guitar sound like that in my life before. It put the Axe FX on the radar in a big way for me. And it's still one of those effects that for me is just so quintessential to what makes digital guitar processors so phenomenal and unique. So let's start with this Crystal Echoes preset, factory preset number 168. Don't worry, we will actually just kind of build a preset from scratch. It feels like a bit of a cop out to just go to a factory preset, but this will give you a fantastic demonstration of what this effect does if you've never heard it before. So I would say just bring up the factory preset, go to scene two, I think it defaults to scene two, and play like an open E minor chord or something like that. <laughs> I could play around with that effect all day. Like I said, it sounds absolutely magical, but if you open up this preset and you look at a variety of blocks on there, it is a little bit hard to kind of draw out where that magical sound is coming from. So let's do this. Let's start a brand new preset. We can go presets up here. I can scroll, I don't know, somewhere back here. I'll just bring up a random empty preset and let's use quick build to drop an input and output block on here. We'll put an amp and a cab and we will just place a pitch block after the cab. I'm gonna run it in series in here just to keep the routing very simple. We can connect up all of this. And as you see in here, the amp has defaulted to the band commander. I love the band commander as a clean platform. So we will leave that and let's do something like this. I'm just going to go to my library and bring up one of my favorite cabs, uh, LT TV Mix 7, you know, kind of works with a lot of things. This one is available for free on Axchange. So I've got my clean app. I've got my cab that I'm very familiar with. We're really here to talk about the pitch block. We're going to go to Crystal Echoes on here and you can see it defaults to have 50% mix and then basically everything's zeroed out here. So I'll bypass it, let you hear the dry tone on here and then we will bring in this effect block and start to play around with some parameters. I want this to be kind of a little guide where, you know, you can start by playing around with one or two parameters and then move on to another pair and so on. So let's just check out what this does. <laughs> Very, very interesting. It kind of sounds like a reverse delay or a reverse reverb. And that is very cool to get started. If we want to have some fun with this immediately, I would recommend these settings. We're going to go to shift and we're going to turn it up to 12. We'll leave everything else the same to get started. Have a listen to this now. We have that kind of reverse delay reverb thing, but with an octave up pitch shift. <music> So at the moment, sounds pretty cool. It's a little bit kind of glitchy and funky. What I want you to do next is to add shift two. We'll take that to 12 and we'll do a small amount of detune on this one. Say like, you know, five-ish cents. We'll do the same on voice number one and we will pan these hard left 
and hard right. So we've got this octave up granular style effect with a very slight pitch offset now. Now we're really starting to get into some kind of lush territory. <laughs> Let's keep going with this. Let's add some delay to each voice. I'm gonna go for 400 milliseconds here. That just happens to be where I turn that. And maybe let's try go for a similar but not identical amount on there. And I'm gonna add some feedback on here. So what is interesting is you have different feedback modes on here under the master section. You can have this dual feedback type, both and ping pong. We'll leave it on dual for now, and I'm just gonna turn the feedback to about 50% on each voice. And you're gonna to start to hear some of that effect that we were hearing from the Crystal Echoes factory preset. It's gonna be far more pronounced though because I'm not running it through a separate reverb. Super fun. Let's do this. Let's go to the splice parameter. And I like to just play around with turning one of these up and one of these down. And we can also add some diffusion and change the direction of the pitched delays in there. I think for the kind of classic crystal style effect, a reverse delay is the way you want to go. I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to add a little bit of diffusion in here. So just changing the splice times and adding some diffusion gives us this. I also like to add a little bit of high and low cut in this just to kind of smooth some stuff out. You know, you've got these pitch shifted delays that are feeding back into one another. So you get an octave on top of an octave on top of an octave. We will use some different pitch values in there for now, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna bring the high cut down, bring the low cut up to around 100, high cut maybe to 6K-ish or something like that. Again, use your ears with all of these. And I'll add a little bit more diffusion in there because I kind of like it washed out. This is particularly cool if you're doing volume swells either with a volume pedal. You know, you could add a volume block and attach it to your expression pedal in here. I'm just going to use the volume knob on my guitar. Check this out. Let's try this now. Let's try an octave down on each of these. So rather than an octave up, kind of classic crystalline style echo on there, we're gonna get a totally different effect on here. So I'll go minus 12 on each of these voices. This is what we get.
That is far more subtle and I find these octave down effects actually work really well if you combine them with a separate reverb. So let's add a reverb in here and we're really gonna make this all lush and wet. Like the Crystal Echoes preset, you could connect these in parallel and run the Crystal Echoes into a reverb, but I'm just gonna add the reverb in series at the end. Let's go for, oh, let's go for something big. Let's go for the Stratocumulus. I'm gonna turn the mix up to about 25%. And let's do this. Uh, excuse the sound of the rain in the background as well. What I'm gonna do is set up the delays to be timed and synced to the tempo. So we'll do a quarter note and a dotted eighth note in there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? Let's do a fifth up on here. So I'll set shift to seven and an octave down. This is gonna to start to sound pretty wild. <laughs> Another super fun one is to do an octave up with two octaves up on here. This gets really wild with all the feedback that we've got on here. You can also hear the effect of longer splice times in there. Let's set up the splice times so that they are timed as well. Let's go for a whole note over here and maybe like a half note triplet or something like that. Maybe we'll go for a half note and a half note triplet over there. So these kind of longer delays. What I'm gonna do is just quickly load in an amp from my blocks library. I'll use the good old USA lead mid gain on here. I'm gonna do some volume swells with this and the reverb on there. This is gonna sound pretty darn epic. Now, of course, you are free to play around with the intervals on here, the amount of detune, the delay times on there. There is so much room for experimentation. I'll give you one last experiment. Like I was saying earlier, you can connect these in parallel. So let's do that. We'll drag the pitch block down here. We'll drag the reverb block over. I do need to reconnect some of this. So I have this big Stratocumulus reverb. I think I'm gonna set the mix to about 50% on that one. I'll go 100% mix on the pitch block and I'll set the bypass mode as mute in over here. And then let's do this for tempo number one, we'll do an eighth note. I'm just gonna change it to some different values on here. Maybe let's go for like a quarter note triplet over there. I'm gonna go for an octave down and an octave up. You could do some weird intervals, like, you know, you could do a, I don't know, flat five up and a flat five down and have a listen to what that sounds like and get some really spooky effects in there. But I kind of like this for the more uh, like melodic intervals on there. So octave up, octave down. Let's crank the diffusion all the way down. I'm gonna leave the splice times where they are. And maybe let's go for like a ping pong feedback structure on there. I'm gonna play you all out with this particular example. Again, check out the Crystal Echoes factory preset to get a taste of what this 
particular effect type can do. It's such a great preset in the way it's created as well. It's really worth studying. And then if you want to build your own presets or add the crystal echo sound to your own presets, hopefully I have laid out a nice little guide for you to start navigating and most importantly, experimenting, playing, and really finding your sound with the crystal echoes in there. If you've got any other questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you next week for another Tuesday Tone Tip. Take it easy. Thank you.